Hello there gaming fans as well as my amazing YouTube subscribers and welcome back to House Flipper. Uh, welcome to my channel Boston Gaming. In this episode we're going to talk about the update that was just released today which is 6-16-2018. So a couple of different things that they have changed. Let's go ahead and start with one of the biggest ones which is actually a new house. And all they really mention, oh, wrong spot. All they really mentioned is like, do you recognize it? And it's like, well, I don't, did I? I don't know. I don't know. So this is the ideal house for a calm family. Some time ago, a happy marriage lived there with their children, a chemistry teacher and his wife, the accountant. It is quite interesting that they made a lot of money on trade and left the house. Their loss, your profit. Kevin Costner. So I don't know if I'm supposed to recognize it from a movie or <laughs> what I'm supposed to do. It is a two floor uh, house. And uh, it does have a pool. I mean, the smallest pool I think I've ever seen in a backyard. A lot of extra space here. But I guess you can kind of get creative. And then the inside, you have a fireplace. And then you have all the walls. You're going to need to replace all these walls. And it doesn't really show many other pictures than that. So you just have another picture of the pool with a floating bear. Because everybody needs a pool with a floating bear. But that's about it. So that was one of the biggest changes. Then they also included new floor tiles and wall tiles. So we have floor tiles. All of these are brand new. Uh, those are horribly ugly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. And then I think there are a couple of others that are kind of ugly as well. But they did add a lot. Like I like this double here. That was really nice. And I like this. And this would be great for like a bathroom uh, for like a shower. Uh, for the bottom of a shower or even the walls of a shower would be great. And then, you know, you have different colors, so you have brown there as well. And then a couple of different options. Now, before, there were only, if I remember correctly, it was like these down, roughly, was about all we got. So we did get quite a few more, uh, about six or so, maybe even seven, I don't know. So floor tiles, then they have wall tiles as well. So you have these different ones, kind of matching the other ones that we, you know, just looked at with the floor tiles. So one of the other ones, I don't know, you guys try this out. I will try it to see if it works. It's obviously not real brick, but uh, you know, I think you could probably use this on the outside of the house, which would be kind of nice to make something brick that wasn't brick and so on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm just going to have to try it out to see if it would work. And that one's one of the other ugly ones. I, it might actually look good on a in, in a bathroom or something, but I don't know. Definitely not like a backsplash I would want in a kitchen. That would be more of this kind of deal. Or this. It's really cool too. So a lot of different options that they included into this update with the floor and wall tiles. And then they also had key mapping, which I know is a big deal for a lot of you guys. You basically go to your settings and you go to control and you can actually change how your commands go so you know i had somebody in the comments say i can't use my tab key how do i open up my tablet now you can change it which is phenomenal i know that a lot of people were complaining about the the lack of ability to be able to do this and now we can so they listen to us you know it just proves that they're they're willing to do what we want uh, as long as it's within reason right so that is really cool you can change it for the keyboard as well as the mouse so that's really nice as well all good things with that they also added in the ability to change your assembly mode so you go to your general tab down to assemble and you can change from easy normal and hard hard is going to be like no hints at all like it's not going to be highlighted you have to know how to assemble whatever you are trying to assemble just to kind of test your little handyman skills right so that's really neat i'm glad that they added that in there they also did a couple of other bug fixes, uh, you know, save stability. I guess some people were having issues with, you know, their game not saving like it was supposed to, loading it and, you know, losing progress and things like that. They fixed that as well as they fixed the curtains in the nursery house and houses with multiple floors. And then they also finished some small uh, bugs and things like that. One of the other big things that they changed in this update is they added shelves. 
to the cabinet so you can start utilizing that space as opposed to just being like this where it's just completely open you now have the ability to add things onto shelves which is really nice and that goes with a lot of the kitchen items and things like that so really nice there also they did something with the the coffee tables I think it's more just visual because I don't really see it. I, I don't see any real big changes. Uh, even looking at them here, you can't see it. And then, you know, even if you buy it, it doesn't, it pretty much is the same. So I don't really know exactly what they did. They were not very specific on that. And then the last thing was just some, you know, uh, localization things. Uh, yeah, they added Greek. That's really cool that they're adding those in to, you know, bring it to more people. And things like that but other than that guys that is going to do it for this episode again this is just a quick rundown of the changes that were made i do hope you guys like it if you guys buy this new house before i get to it you know i'm still working on my 161 thousand dollar house as soon as i finish up with that one i'm probably going to go ahead and buy the new one just because it's new and i like new things but if you find it fix it up before i get a chance make sure to let me know how easy it was or how, how it looked at the end I really, is that a pizza on the roof? There's a pizza on the roof. There's a pizza box here and a full pizza on the roof. Unbelievable. Uh, but guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a huge thumbs up. It really helped me out. I will see you guys in the next episode.